Jesus. So I guess nothing's off limit, and uh, I'll try to be as honest as I can. Can everybody hear me? Because I'm, I'm not talking directly into this thing here. But... <laughs> um, it's okay. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> you should be like, who are you going to call? <laughs> um, okay, there we go. I can talk to the woman now. Um, so, yeah, if there's uh, anything that you want to know about anything, I don't know much. So, <laughs> that's the. Uh, It's both, okay, actually. Okay. That's the great thing about no, it. No, great. Oh, absolutely. Well, do your thing, man. I'm you do your you. thing, man. No, no, I'm happy you're here. Is that my problem? Yeah, that's my problem. Well, there's you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. fine. Um, first off... Your glasses, is mine. No, your glasses. is mine. <laughs> my microphone, your microphone. Okay. Uh, first off, welcome to Dallas. Thanks for coming to Dallas Comic Con. Thank you. Thank you. Begrudge you. No, no, we're, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're good. Okay, so. First off, um, I, I promise I won't ask all questions about Oz because that might be the, the, my favorite work of yours. The hands on it. John Lula was no longer writing, directing, or producing. And they brought in um, uh, the Mont, the Mont, the Mont, I said, Mont Johnson. Anyway, they, we got a new director, and uh, so I worked with Ivan on that movie. And then uh, about a a little less than a year later, I saw Ivan at a hospital on an elevator, and uh, you know, one of his long ride downs, and, and so, hey, how you, you know, how you doing? And uh, he said, uh, well, you know, I'm doing this movie now with uh, uh, with Bill and Danny. I didn't know who Bill and Danny was, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. I said, that's, that's good, good, yeah. He said, there's nothing in it for you, though. And uh, I said, oh, okay, well, uh, good, yeah, good luck with that. And, uh, that was it. Because in Space Hunter, the character was, I think the guy's name was Jones or something, but he was a little bit bigger than life. My head was shaved. I was talking in a little lower voice. It was when it was kind of bigger than, you know. And I think um, maybe he thought that's kind of who I was or something. I don't know. So after about three months of not being able to get an interview, I finally got an interview and I went in and I read and um, I got the script. It was a great script. And I really, really wanted it. I thought this was a life-changing thing. And the character, Winston, was, he came in the very beginning of the movie, and he was all the way through the movie. He was an Air Force uh, colonel who was a demolitions expert, and, it was just, and he kind of uh, sort of ran the organization. The other guys were a little bit crazy. He got slimed in the hallway. He thought of the marshmallow guy, and the, in the end, he's the one that had the idea. So it was a great role. So I went in, and... Um, and I, I read for the part, and, and I thought it was really pretty good. And then they, they wanted me to come back again, so I went in again and read. And then uh, and they put me on tape. And then uh, two days later, they said they wanted me to come in and screen test. And I went in that screen test. And then about three days later, they said they wanted me to come in again and do another screen <laughs> test. And I went in and did another screen test. And then they said, well, we're thinking about it, and uh, we want to see somebody in New York. And so they went to New York. and. Uh, and then finally, after months and months of this, um, uh, I got the part, and um, uh, and they said they knew that I really wanted the part, so they didn't really feel they had to pay me. And it was such a great role, I thought, but I got to do this role. You know, I got to do this role. So uh, I got the part. I went to New York, and we rehearsed, and uh, and I, you know, it was like it was. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for, man. This is you know, this is that money. And I was a single parent, I had my two sons, and I told my kids, you know, I know you guys haven't eaten in a while. Just <laughs> hang in there, man, because I got this part, and when I do this part, man, it's going to be it's a whole new world. And I, I, I look, and someone's trying to squeeze an envelope under the door, but it doesn't quite fit. 
So I go to the door and open the door, and there's like nobody in the hallway, but the envelope is here. And I pick up the envelope, and it's a new script, and we're going to start shooting. Except in the new script, I'm no longer an Air Force colonel. I'm <laughs> suspect it's all gone. I mean, the part, the guy doesn't come in on the beginning. He comes in on page 69. <laughs> One of those kind of, uh, I didn't, uh, yeah. So that was my introduction to Ghostbusters, you know. And from then on, it was downhill. So, but it's, uh, it was like, it was like okay, all right. It's been me adjusting to, to fit. Bill Murray's had things tailor-made, you know what I mean? And when things are tailor-made, you get to show your best, and he always delivers. I mean, um, so, yeah, so I, I can't say enough. I have nothing but love and respect and appreciation, and, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I think of Bill. You know, and, um, and also, I'm, I'm an easy guy. I mean, I learned how to, I mean, you know, I, I just love you, okay? So if you want to talk about the kids and Thanksgiving, it's cool. We can talk about Thanksgiving. And then, and, and I think, um, and tomorrow you don't want to talk at all, that's cool too. We'll, we don't have to talk. I mean, I'm, okay. I kind of go with the flow. Some people feel that if we're friends today, we're friends tomorrow. And, and somehow I got to show that. And I know that when you're, especially in work, when you focus on what you're doing and you, you're in the character and you're trying to make things happen, emotions go all over the place and so people, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, when I did the Hannah Ross Cradle, Rebecca DeMonet would, would go into a room and everybody would like leave. You know, she'd be so focused and so intent and people were like, okay, they back up. Because sometimes people don't know how to interpret those kind of ways you go through. And, uh, so I'm saying all that in relation to Bill. Maybe some of people don't quite know why. Right, we're back here in the back. Hi. Uh, really love the Ghostbusters. Thank you. Love, love both movies. And uh, my question is, what was it like to be, I guess you could say, reunited with the cast, so to speak, for the video game that came out a couple years back? Yeah, I love the video game because I had sort of gotten to a point of believing that the movie would never happen and maybe that was sort of the end of it because... I don't know why it would be so difficult to get together and make another movie. And then they, um, and they said, well, we're going to do the video game, and the video game is going to be like the third movie. And the guys who were doing it really cared about Ghostbusters, and they really wanted to get it right. Even though I think Atari, I think uh, whatever studio had it first dropped it. But those guys stuck with it, and I think it turned out, I'm not a, a gamer, but I, I hear it turned out to be a pretty, pretty good game. And I was very happy that Bill Murray, everybody came back to do it, so all, everybody came back to do the voices. And um, so, yeah, so it was, it, it, so maybe, and that's why I think maybe there might be another movie. I mean, you, you catch people at the right time, and it, it, it may happen. Um, I, I wouldn't wait on it, but, uh, but it'll be nice. So, I mean, it'll be nice. I, and I think the, the fans have really been supportive of this, you know, this, this film. I'd love to see it happen, but uh, who knows? All right, we're right back.